I'm always like nose in the camera when these videos start. <laughs> Good morning. Happy day after Easter. If you were celebrating or got to celebrate yesterday in some way, shape or form. Um, <clears throat> I always remember like I grew up, you know, just Catholic school and Easter was always one of my favorite you know, holidays growing up. So all of the festivities and celebrations involved, such a happy time. So, um, you know, even if you're not, it doesn't matter if you're religious or not, you can actually understand and celebrate, you know, spring, like spring season. And it's all about renewal and rebirth. And it's a great opportunity for all of us to kind of reground and ask ourselves, what are we rooted in? Am I rooted in love, happiness, peace? Am I rooted in anger? There's a lot of anger floating around recently. What, what are you rooted in? And uh, it's okay, whatever the answer is. You know, if you're like, I am really angry, that's fine. You know, give yourself some grace um, through this process. I <laughs> it was I reached out to some other fellow studio owners and I... I can't remember my friend Rachel, she owns um, Shine Studio in down near Clarksville or in Clarksville, I'm not sure actually where that studio actually is, but I know she's like, it's a weird combination between panic and anxiety and totally chill. <laughs> and I'm like, that's actually a really good explanation as to how I feel too. So um, it's okay, basically. I wanna give you some validation this morning to say, it's okay. However you're feeling. So um, again, when you hop on your mat, it's okay. However you're feeling. If you feel like it's a struggle, you're tired, you know, like you're like I'm, you know, how, playing catch up with my breath. Like it's okay. Slow down. Tune back in with your breath because, as we know, like it's not about. Or if you don't know, I'm telling you now, it's not about the physical movement. What it's about is your breath and how you connect with your breath and how you allow your breath to guide you on your mat. So we're gonna hop on our mat this morning and we're gonna start in child's pose. Um, you're welcome to follow along, all levels. So here we go, all right? Take my socks off really quick. So if you're just now joining us, child's pose, um, you're gonna need a block of some kind today or, or some kind of prop like a block <clears throat> So when you nestle into child's pose you can take your knees wide Let your belly and your heart and your chest and your head just all nestle down Take some deep breaths here Take another huge breath in through your nose. Hold it in. Open your mouth, let it go. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out completely. Thread the needle. Take your left arm and thread it underneath your right. Continue to reach your right arm forward, really reaching. And then snuggle your right, your, um, your left shoulder, like snuggle that down away from your neck so you're not really choking yourself out. You have plenty of space for your neck, for your throat. One more breath in and out right here. Pull back to center as you breathe in and take it to the other side as you exhale. Mm -hmm. 
One more big breath in. Empty it all out, clear out some space. Pull back to center as you breathe in. Child's pose as you exhale. Drop your heart, drop your head, get empty. Tabletop position, breathe in. Stay here, breathe out. Five rounds of cat and cow. Inhale up into cow. Drop your belly low, stick your tailbone out, up to the ceiling. Curl into cat. Nice and slow, there's one round. Cow. And you can go a little faster if you want, that's totally fine. Cat. Three more rounds. Get involved with your, your heart space, with your chest and your hips. This one I want you to curl into cat, tuck your toes, and press yourself up and back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet here in downward facing dog. Several deep breaths. Push your heart towards your toes, lift your hips up. Okay, take another breath in and out right here. And when you're empty, step your feet together. Lift your right leg high for three-legged dog. Bend your top knee, stack your hips on top of one another. Top knee really high, navel opens up towards the right side of the room. Take another breath in, downward facing dog. Opposite leg lifts, bend your top knee, hips stack, deep breaths here. Use your exhale, float your foot to the ground, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, blow it all out. One more time, inhale. Exhale completely, look forward and tippy toe all the way forward towards your gaze in between your hands. Rest here in ragdoll pose. You can grab onto opposite elbows, that's what I'm doing this morning. And bend your knees generously so that your belly rests on top of your thighs. Allow your head to cascade forward and really release all of the tension in your neck. Okay, maybe even shake your head out a little bit here. You can get a little loosey-goosey, shake out through your ribs. All right, just kind of sway. Feel the bottoms of your feet kind of shift weight around. Heels, balls of the feet, outer edges of the feet, inner arches, into the toes. And then leveling out, level out all the weight in the bottoms of your feet. Squeeze your belly up. Drop your heart down more. Drop your hands. Get empty and heavy. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward fold as you exhale. Again, lift halfway. You can put your hands on your shins and press your heart if you want. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Forward fold as you exhale. One more time, lift halfway, heart forward. Broad across your chest. Forward fold as you exhale. Now sweep all the way up. Reach up, pull your hands to your heart. Hands come to your heart, relax your shoulders down your back. Set your intention right here. Now I chatted with a client yesterday and a long time private client and we reset an intention for her and that intention was more love. And I, I like, I'm sharing that with you because I think that's a great intention for all of us to adopt. So it's not just right now more love, but in every single thing I do, in my thoughts, in my words, in my movement, in my breath. Can I 
add in more love? It's a question, can I? And more than likely the answer is yes. You just have to choose love, okay? So choose it right now, invite it in, take a breath in, let it go. It's not, I haven't failed enough for me to feel love and success and contentment. That's not what it's about. If you fail, okay, if you succeed, okay. Right, you did it either way, right? Kind of try less and just do more. I feel like Yoda when I say that. There is no do, do or do not. <laughs> okay, everybody, breathe into your possibility, to your potential, and just breathe out the rest. Breathe out doubt, stress, fear, let it go. Reach your arms up, inhale. Forward fold as you exhale. Half lift, chaturanga, high to low plank, shift forward and lower down, up dog or cobra, breathe in, downward facing dog as you exhale. Breath in, breath out, inhale, exhale, one more time, breathe in, Breathe up completely, look forward. Walk or jump, half lift, fold. Sweep up, squeeze your belly up to your fingers. Forward fold as you exhale. Half lift, chaturanga, high plank to low plank. I'm stepping back, shift forward and lower down. You don't have to go that low, all right? Up dog, breathe in. And push your hips forward, downward facing dog, breathe out, huge inhale, empty out, one more time, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze your belly, jump, half lift, forward fold, sweep up, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out. Half lift, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right foot forward, warrior one, rise up as you breathe in, stay as you breathe out. Now, I want you to grab onto opposite elbows here, hands above your head, press your forearms up to the ceiling. Biceps in line by your ears and catch a little bit of a back bend right here. Deep breaths. Long exhales. One more, full breath in and out. Unbind your arms, reach up, inhale. Open to warrior two as you exhale. Reverse, breathe in. Chaturanga, take it down. Nice and slow and deliberate with your movement. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot forward. Warrior one, reach up. Okay, grab on the, the, the other way <laughs> with your elbows and the way that feels a little strange. Press your forearms up. Engage your belly. Sink your hips. Breathe here, you got it. Okay, reach up, breathe in. Open up to warrior two as you breathe out. Good, reverse it, breathe in. Chaturanga, take it all the way down as you exhale. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, inhale. Empty out. Jump, step, walk, half lift. Fold. Sweep all the way up. Chair pose. Losing my britches a little bit today. And <laughs> again, that's okay. 
all right? And just get back to breath as quickly as possible. If you feel any kind of distraction, just get back to breath and breathe here in chair pose. You can reach your arms up for greatest expression in your heart rate. You can cactus bend your elbows to the sides of the room. You can have your hands at your hips or your heart. Three more breaths. Push the exhale. Again, breathe in. Push it out. Last time, breathe in. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Reach up, breathe in. Open warrior two. Reverse, inhale. Chaturanga, take it down. You can skip Chaturanga too. You don't have to take the push up. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot forward. Warrior one, reach up. Open up warrior two. Okay, now reverse it. Chaturanga, push the exhale. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle pose. Top arm is now to the floor. I'm gonna grab my block actually. Is now to the floor. Elbow to quad or hand to the block. Roll your top shoulder onto your back. Okay, deep breaths here. Your right hip may want to stick out. I want you to hug your hip into the midline of your, of your mat. Push your front knee away from the midline. Feel your groin become really active here. Engage your belly. Breathe. Okay, from here, I want you to walk your bottom hand forward. You can bump up your back foot a little bit. Half moon. Propel yourself up into the balance pose. Deep breaths. Keep breathing. Even through all the unbalance. All right? That's okay. Instant forgiveness. Switch arms. Switch arms. So now it's your right foot is still down. Your left arm is down. Opposite limbs are skyward. Keep reaching up through your top heel. Top shoulder reaches. Send your gaze towards the right side of the room. All right. Twisted chair pose to the right. Hook your elbow. Step your feet together. Hook your elbow. Continue to gaze and breathe. Heart pumps up. Hips lower down. Deep breaths. Bend your right knee a lot, pull your left hip back in space. Take another breath in, forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. Sweep all the way up, chair pose. All right, take a breath in, hands to your heart. Take another inhale, push your hands forward. All right, look, there's a wall in front of me and I'm pushing on that wall, okay? Now, I'm gonna come up on my tippy toes. Knees go wide, hands move towards the floor, hips stay high, we're going into crow pose. So this is a great prep for crow. Your hips are high, you're on your tippy toes, I'm leaning forward and squeezing my belly. If my feet lift up, it's because I'm squeezing my belly enough for them to float up off the ground, okay? Three more breaths. Knee in chaturanga. Up dog. You can always skip it. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Warrior one, reach up. Open up warrior two. Reverse it. Okay, side angle pose. Grab my block again. Okay, this time, 
Your left hip moves to the midline of your mat, and your front knee moves away from the midline of your mat. Top hand can go to your hip. Press into your back foot, really strong back leg. Keep breathing. All right, walk your front hand forward, half moon. Propel yourself up and into it. Press down into your bottom limbs to lift your heart high. Lift your top leg high. There's a difference between it being hip level, lower than hip level, and higher than hip level. You want it to get up higher than hip level. Shoot it up there, reach your top arm up too. Switch arms. Scoot back a little bit. So now we're in revolved half moon. Keep breathing. You feel how your top leg, all the work that you did in the top leg, is your anchoring point. All right, gaze to the left. Step into twisted chair pose. To the left, bend your knees, sink your hips, hook your elbow, spiral your heart up, breathe, slow down your breath, you got it, keep breathing, twist out the belly, work it out, another huge breath in, heart up, forward folds, split your feet apart, great, take your, your, um, First two fingers, like your peace fingers, hook in between your first toe and your second toe so that the tips of my fingers face one another in the midline of my mat. I'm gonna lengthen my heart forward, I can bend my knees. I'm gonna bow into this fold. Breathe here. All right, Malasana squat. All right, heel toe your feet wide. Heels are on the ground as much as you could keep them on the ground, okay? Um, and sink your hips down to your heels. Now, I see Malasana squat a lot looks like this, really caved in. Kind of hard to tell in the video from where I'm sitting. But that's okay, I want you to press into your palms and think about lifting your heart up. Drop your shoulders down your back and squeeze your belly up. You'll feel yourself grow. See, so I actually can see that difference like in the video right here. From hunched, all right, to open, to open. You wanna think about the sun in the center of your belly and you're squeezing that sun and the more that you squeeze, those rays radiate outward into the rest of your body. And breathe here. Press into your feet, okay? Hands can be at your hips, your heart, or reaching up. Okay, up to you. Press up halfway. Hips in line with your knees. Lower back down. Press up all the way. To stand, lower back down. Halfway. Down. Up. Down. One more time through. Half. Down. All the way up, feet come together, hands by your sides, breath here. Pull your right knee up into your chest. Right hand to your right knee, or right hand to foot, that's up to you. Open up to the right. Maybe open your left arm up and gaze towards your left thumb. It's a maybe. If you feel super sturdy, you want to shift your gaze. Come back to center. Knee into your chest. Airplane pose. Shoot your heel behind you. Lift your heel up. Pull your heart forward. Crescent lunge. Back foot down, heart up, inhale. Hands to your heart if they're not there already, okay? Take a big breath in. Twist to the left. Right elbow hooks towards your left knee. Deep breaths here. Bend into your front knee. 
Press your back thigh bone up to the ceiling. Really strong and controlled here with your breath. Okay, from here, I want you to keep your arms how they are. Just lift your back leg skyward for revolved airplane pose, twisted airplane pose. Keep breathing. Standing splits. Hands to the floor, back leg shoots up. Deep breaths here. Bow over your bottom leg. Squeeze your belly up. Put some belly activity into this pose. Take another breath in. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Fold down. Reach up. Hands to your heart. Left knee to your chest. Left hand to knee. Right hand to hip. Woo. If you want to take that or extend your leg and grab onto your foot or big toe with your left hand. And like I can. I can do that pose, but this morning, like, when I listen to my body, just because I can, does that mean I should? Okay, open up to the left. Start to shift your gaze to the right. Come back to center, hands to your heart. Airplane pose. Push your heel behind you. No judgment, okay? No judgment on your actions, you're just moving. You're doing it. It doesn't have to match this perfect image of what's in your head, okay? Crescent lunge. As you can see, I'm super wobbly this morning. All right, maybe you're just like, I can't watch you, D. I'm listening to you, but I got my own shit I'm dealing with this morning. That's fine, all right? I, I like when that happens, all right? You're all focused on yourself. Hands to your heart, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks towards your right knee. Deep breaths here. Press into your front foot, deep bend in the front knee, okay? All right, that's what's gonna help you here. Propel yourself upwards into twisted airplane pose. Nice and slow, I don't want you to rush it. Deep breaths. Okay, standing splits when you're ready. Go for it. If you fall gracefully into it, you're like, I meant to do that. Okay, keep breathing. Playfulness. Playfulness here, drop your head down, you can do it. Lift your top knee up, top leg lifts higher. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Fold. Rise all the way up. Hands to your heart. Tree pose. Lift your right leg to start. About five breaths in tree pose. I'm gonna check on our Checking our time while y'all are in tree pose. About two more breaths now. Fusion of lifted foot into the standing leg. Engage your belly and grow strong through your trunk of your tree. Step out mindfully and slowly. Shift into the other side. Use your breath and become a master of transition with your breath, you guys. This is what it's all about. It doesn't matter. If your body feels imbalanced or wobbly, okay, your breath is going to help channel you back into balance. Whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like right here, right now, is exactly perfect. It really is. Even if you're like, that was the ugliest, messiest tree pose ever, it doesn't matter. Whatever judgment your mind puts on it, let it go. Seriously, let it go. Breathe in. Blow it all out. Knee to chest. Mountain pose. Huge inhale. Clear it out. Sweep your arms up. Forward folds. Half lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts high. Bend your top knee. Feel your hips stack on top of one another. And go for the flip. You can go wild thing, flip dog. I got the wild thing variation this morning. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. 
Okay, hips press up, thighs press up, heart sinks towards the wall over your head. Flip over, side plank, right palm is down, hips push away from your bottom wrist. Top leg lifts high. Let's shoot it up there, why not? Top hand to knee, top hand to foot, step it forward, um, lizard lunge. Lizard lunge. Woo. Okay, so your front foot is way out towards the left side of your mat. Palms press down. I want you to bend into your elbows. Lean forward a little bit here. Press into your front foot. We're gonna go half crow. So your back knee is gonna come rest on your right tricep. So if you need to see, it looks a little something like knee to tricep, half crow, stepping back, lizard. Crow, lizard, lizard. One more time together. Forward, half crow. Step back, lizard. Drop your back knee down. You can walk down to your forearms. Breathe here for a moment. One more breath in and out. Rise up. Walk your front foot to the middle of your mat, okay? And uh, bump up your back foot for pyramid pose. So your hips are high, your legs are straight-ish. This is where it's great to have a block and put your hands up on the block, okay? Again, I can touch the ground. Does that mean I should this morning? If I'm really listening to my body, my body's gonna whisper little, little pieces of truth. Okay? And you can decide what's true for you, and that will come out in the form of movement on your mat. But your breath is the messenger. When we channel mind-body connection, our breath is what's there. Plant your palms down. Okay, get rid of the block. Plant your palms down. Front foot shoots up into the sky for handstand pickups or toe taps. All right, your choice. I'll do toe taps on this side. You can kick up for five. Four, three, two, one, meet in Chaturanga. Up dog to down dog, follow your breath. Feet step together, lift your left leg high. Bend your top knee. Go for the flip. Wild thing or three-legged dog, up to you. Or uh, flip dog, I'm sorry. Breathe. Thigh bones up. Press the floor away. Engage your belly. Okay, flip over. Side plank. Left palm is down. Top leg can lift. Hand to knee. Hand to foot. Step the top foot forward for lizard lunge. Hands and foot are in line in lizard lunge, okay? Back leg is still lifted. Back knee is lifted. We're going into half crow. Bend your elbows backwards like chaturanga. Grip with your fingers, half crow. Left knee to left tricep, step it back. Step up, step back. One more time, step up, lizard lunge. Step back, drop your back knee down. Whew. Rest here for just a few breaths. Call forth your intention right here. Okay, rise up wherever you are, front foot to the middle, towards the midline, doesn't have to be right in the middle. Pyramid pose, we're bumping up. Back foot comes up, there's a lateral stagger between your legs, okay? So if I set my back foot up, I'm actually in just a regular standing position. If I step my front foot backwards for pyramid pose, my feet still have that lateral space. They're just staggered. Breath here. Okay, from right here, palms plant down. 
All right, palms plant, front foot shoots up into the sky, toe taps or handstand pickups, your choice. Five, four, three, use your breath, two, one, high plank to low plank, up dog to downward facing dog, come up on your tippy toes, drop to your knees, camel pose. So reach your arms up. Hands can be at your low back, okay? And squeeze your elbows together on your back. Engage your belly. Squeeze your belly up to the crest of your ribs. You can tuck your toes and send your hands back to one heel or both heels at a time. There's a lot of options, you guys. So you have to find what works best for you here in camel pose. About three more breaths. Push your hips forward. Keep squeezing and engaging your belly. Come out. Dolphin pose. Down dog on your forearms. Forearms are in an 11. Straighten your legs. Breathe here. When you tippy toe your feet forward a little bit, breathe. One more, in and out. And drop to your knees, camel pose. Arms sweep up, breathe in. Cactus bends, all right? And hands to the low back, or hands to your ankles, or your heels, up to you. Five breaths. Come out. All right, child's pose this time. Hands can be back by your ankles or they can reach forward. That's up to you, okay? And if your shoulders feel like they're dead and need a little break, take them back by your ankles. Just about two more breaths. Okay, you're gonna flip over. Onto your back, grab your block. Your handy dandy block, or whatever you're using. I think um, <laughs> the other day I used a tissue box, okay? Which, upon further you know, analysis, I might not use a tissue box, it can get crunched easily. So maybe a hardcover book, or you know, like a, if you have like a box of food in your pantry, you can use that, whatever, all right? Or no block, okay? That's up to you. What you're going to do here is you're going to take your left knee, pull it into your chest. You know, put that block right at your left knee. And then my right elbow, I'm going to hold it in place. All right? Hands are back behind my head. My head and chest are lifted off the ground. All right. I have elbow and knee holding that block in place in between the two. My right knee hugs in. Foot presses up to the ceiling. From here, I'm lowering my right heel to hover two inches. Pull up. Lower. Pull up. Good. Keep going. All right. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, hug up, both knees into the chest, take a twist to the left, both knees to the left, rest here for a moment. Now, you guys, when we do this, this is all about breath. Lower on the exhale, lift on the inhale. It's a breathing exercise, okay? The movement is 
secondary, the breath is primary. So come back to center, grab the block again. All right, this time, right knee hugs in, block connects with right knee, left elbow comes and connects that block. I'm holding it right there in between right knee and left elbow. Head and chest lift, left knee hugs in and presses up, lower and lift, keep going. Don't give up on yourself, you got it. Five more. Three. Two. One. Last time. Hug up both knees into the chest. Take a twist to the right this time. Wow. Feeling what you feel. Breathing it all in with the inhale. And just letting it go with the exhale. Easy breaths. All right, come back to center. Rest in Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet connect. Knees are wide from each other. All right, from here, one back bend, bridge or wheel pose. Wheel, if you got it, if you practice wheel, go for it. If not, bridge is totally fine. Go up for 10 breaths. Here we go. Stay with the rhythm of your breath. Press your thigh bones high. And you're going to use an exhale to come down slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Take a happy baby pose now. You can give your feet some love. Grab onto your feet, squish your hands into your feet. You can rock from side to side in happy baby pose if that feels good. I like to hug one heel in, straighten the leg out like a cheerleader doing a herky. I never was a cheerleader of any kind. But I do think this particular movement feels extraordinary, especially all that crunching we just did, all right? Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll the length of your spine, forward and backwards. Get some momentum going. Plant your palms and jump or step back to downward facing dog, okay? Meet in downward facing dog. Let me check on our El Piempo. The time. Oh, the time, the time. All right, from downward facing dog. All right, lift your right leg high. And step into half pigeon pose. When you make it to half pigeon, stay upright here, okay? Upright here in half pigeon pose. I want you to walk your hands all the way over to the left as far as you could. Towards your right toes, you can drop to your forearms right here. Take about three breaths. Rise up, walk back to center, walk your hands all the way over, okay, to the right as far as would go. See if you'll stretch in the left side body now. You can drop down to your forearms if that feels okay. Okay, rise yourself up, walk your hands to center and back towards your body. 
So you feel a lift in your chest. Okay, from here, I want you to roll through your left hips. You spiral your left quadricep down, okay? Not, not rolling onto the right hip, you're rolling off the right hip onto the left hip. So you're equaling out in your hips. I want you to now bend your back knee, reach around with your left hand, grab the ankle for a bind, and then kick your shin backwards into your fingers. And you can reach your right arm up. Breath here. If your right arm reaches forward just barely, that's fine too, okay? Give yourself what you need in this position. Engage your belly. You can slowly start to lift that up. Another thing you can do is start to pull your heel in towards your body more, okay? And kind of stretch out the top of your back quadricep some more. So heel pulls in towards your booty now. Now from here, start to lower down. Keep pulling your heel in towards your booty, all right? Spiral towards the left quadricep. Woo, and you feel this big time, okay? Let go of the bind. Rest here for about three more breaths. Walk yourself upright, hands back to the body. I want you to press into your palms, lift your front knee up into your body, one entity, and shoot it up into the sky for three-legged dog. Draw circles with your right leg out to the side of your body or with your right knee. If, you go in if you're doing circles, go the other way. All right, knee in downward facing dog. Take a huge breath in. Blow it out. Lift your left leg high. Half pigeon pose. So when we land here in half pigeon pose, you're gonna walk your hands over towards the right, towards your left toes first, okay? Walking and then lower down. Rest right here. rise up walk through center and over towards your left knee kind of lift your belly up off your thigh and rotate rotate down through your right quadricep okay that's your anchoring point you don't want to just dump all onto the left side you're feeling a twist so your right hip rotates down and as you do this you feel that stretch all the way up into your right side body your belly engages, and that's the glue. Walk back to center. Hands back towards your body. Lift your heart. Okay, from here, bend your back knee. Reach around with your right hand. Grab onto the ankle. And then you can kick your shin into your fingers and lift your left arm high. No rush to get it up. Deep breaths. Okay, from here, I can flip my grip with my back foot and my hand and hug the knee or hug the heel in towards the glute, in towards the booty. Holding here, breathe. Bow forward when you're ready. Maybe bow with the bind just to see what that feels like. Feel a tug on top of the right quadricep a little bit. Let go of the bind when you feel ready. Three breaths right here in half pigeon pose. All right, rise up slowly, walk your hands back to your body, tuck your back toes, back knee lifts, front leg lifts up into the body, and shoot it up into the side for three-legged dog. Draw circles with your left knee out to the side of your body, 
If that would feel good, go both directions with those circles. And then drop down into downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Blow it all out. Drop to your knees. Roll onto your back for shoulder stand, waterfall. I'm going into headstand. So you can take any inversion that would feel good this morning. Anything that feels good to you, take it. You can even move to the wall and push your legs up the wall, all right? Again, up to you. Deep breaths. And if you are in headstand, you want to give yourself time to exit and rest in child's pose. If you're in shoulder stand, you can go plow pose. If you're in waterfall, you can hang out there or you can even pop up into shoulder stand. You have a limitless opportunity, okay? Don't let your own mind and judgment and ego limit you. Okay, you are unbounded. You have all of this unbounded, pure potential. You can breathe into that potential and that freedom, or you can stay confined as a slave to your mind. It's up to you. I was just talking about this with a fellow teacher. I don't want to be a slave to my mind anymore. I'd like to gain some freedom to like feel my body and live freely without being so like over analytical of everything and just judgmental of myself and others, I want to limit that and detach from it and step into my own personal freedom. Okay, so wherever you are, I want you to come out of your inversion. If you have a block, remove it, get rid of the block. Everybody's on their back now. Okay, if you're on your back, take your feet wide to the edges of your mat. Drop your knees to the right. If you want to deepen this, you can place your right ankle on top of your left quadricep. Switch sides. Feet stay wide, pull back to center, over to the left. You can deepen by placing your left ankle on top of your right quad to the knee. Knees pull back to center, okay? Maybe give yourself one final hug, squeeze everything up into your body. It's a tight little ball. And then meet in Savasana, corpse pose. Final meditation. And make yourself comfortable here. Allow all of your weight to be completely support, supported, either by the floor, or the ground, or the mat, whatever is beneath you. 
allow your body to completely surrender down. Give up the weight. Give up the work. Just give it all up and allow yourself to, again, experience freedom. Untether from that which weighs you down. And set yourself free. Allow yourself to continue to rest and relax into this space. There's no movement that needs to be taken at this time. Just allow yourself to be still. You know, a lot of times in Savasana, we want to skip it. <laughs> At least I do, because it feels like a waste of time. It feels like there's nothing going on and there's nothing really to do here. And that's true. There is nothing. That's kind of the goal is to set yourself free of that, you know, which we're constantly attached to. And it's also an important time for your nervous system to reset after such intense breathing and movement. And whether you follow along the whole time or you hop in and out of class or you just, you're watching, okay? It doesn't really matter, okay? What really matters is the dedication to the now, to right now. And so right now, just take a loving deep breath in and let it go. Again, wherever you are, take a breath in and blow it out. Awaken now and take a big stretch up and down the length of your mats and curl onto your favorite side in the fetal position. From there, rise up into a seat, slight bow to your head, hands to your heart, Take a deep breath in and let it go. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for practicing along with me nice and sweaty this morning. <laughs> kind of got like a crazy hair halo going on now. But um, yeah, uh, we're switching up the schedule this week. So um be on the lookout for that. I have some more teachers joining in and we're kind of just kind of switch up some times and switch up what, what we have been doing. So same, same, but different. Know that you can always find all of these recorded classes on our YouTube page. And as always, donations are extremely welcomed and appreciated. So thank you all so much for tuning in. See you later.